And, um, we Only days before the start of school and school officials in Fairhaven are dealing with an air quality problem at one of the town's schools. And just a short time ago, an emergency meeting was held to discuss the issue. Eyewitness News reporter Susan Campbell was at that meeting and she joins us live from the southeastern Massachusetts mobile newsroom with the details new at six. Nega, that air quality problem is mold. And we've learned that school officials actually just learned of that problem less than 48 hours ago. Now they're trying to figure out what to do with the 240 students who were supposed to start school there on Tuesday. Now, Oxford Elementary School had been closed for years, but the school committee decided to reopen it for the 2012-2013 school year for students who normally attend Wood Elementary while a new school is built on that site. We've learned the school is being aired out and air quality will be retested tested at Oxford Elementary on Monday and Wednesday. Because there's no new mold growth, school officials hope to remedy the situation and be able to use the Oxford School as planned. It's historic, meaning that it was existing. Uh, what we did was we, um, by cleaning, by getting the building ready, we rustled it up. Uh, we moved it around and then when the testing came right at the end, um, it showed traces of uh, uh, unacceptable traces. So uh, what we're doing now is trying to push air out of the building so that uh, this ancient, and when I say ancient, historical mold uh, could be pushed out because it doesn't appear to be growing mold, it appears to be old mold. If air quality tests continue to show mold, students may be sent to the middle school, but at this point there are no definite plans. One thing we do know is school for those elementary school students will be pushed back to start on September 4th. We'll have much more information on this as we learn all of the new details. Reporting live at the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.